I'm Anil Kumar and here is my favorite question from the test paper. We need to find horizontal asymptotes for the function f of x equals to x over square root of x square plus 1. Now this is a thinking question. At times I've also seen this as a bonus question in test papers. Let us look into details of how to solve such a question. Now to solve this question you should know two things. First, what is square root of x square? What is this equal to? Now if you think it is x, you are wrong. It is absolute x and that is one of the major things which will help you answer this question. And second thing which you need to understand is that for a function we can have two horizontal asymptotes, right? So that is possible. Some students think that horizontal asymptote, one can have only one, right? Now, in this particular example, you will note that we have two horizontal asymptotes. Now, let us first simplify the function itself, and then we'll find horizontal asymptote for this function. When we say horizontal asymptote, we are trying to understand if the function approaches a value as x approaches positive or negative infinity or not. If the function approaches a value, then we have a horizontal asymptote. Okay, so it is given to us that f of x is equals to x over square root of x square plus 1. Now we can write this as x over. I will factor out x square, then we will get 1 plus 1 over x square. Right? Now, as I said, what is square root of x squared? It is not x. It is absolute x, right? You can look into some of my videos on that. It will help you to understand the concept, right? So we could write it like this. Now, as I said, when we talk about horizontal asymptotes, we are trying to see what happens to the function when the limit x approaches infinity. It could be positive or negative, right? That is what we want to understand, right? Now, in this particular case, the function is x over absolute x divided by square root of 1 plus x square. Now, if x is approaching infinite large value, in that case, what happens to 1 over x square? It approaches 0, right? And therefore, I can write this function as it approaches infinitely large value as equals to x over let me write this this time as x 1 plus 0 right so okay so that is how we could write and of course square root of 1 is 1 and therefore what we have here is when the limit x is approaching infinity uh, let us consider positive and negative infinity separately. Limit when x approaches negative infinity. Let us take them separately. For the function, which is x over, we have absolute x here, right? And here also the function is x over absolute x, right? Since square root of 1 is 0, so for our function, which is x over absolute x, we'll find the limit when it approaches positive infinity. When the function x approaches positive infinity, x is positive, absolute x is also positive, right? So this is equal to positive 1. However, when you are approaching negative infinity, let us say we substitute negative 1000, then you'll get negative 1 as your answer. So this is equals to negative 1, right? Since you know, horizontal asymptote is what happens to the function when x approaches positive or negative infinity, right? So therefore, that was the condition for horizontal asymptote. So, limit of the function when x approaches positive 1 infinity could be written as equal to, let me rewrite here itself first, x over absolute x, right? And now, we will consider these two limits separately. When it approaches positive infinity, then it is positive 1. When it approaches negative infinity, then it is negative 1. Therefore, we have two horizontal asymptotes. This horizontal asymptote equation is 
y equals to 1 and here equation of horizontal asymptote is y equals to minus 1. Do you get the idea, right? So that is how you should be solving it. Now let me also sketch this kind of, right? I'm not sketching the graph of the function but just the horizontal asymptote. So what we are trying to say here, when x approaches positive infinity, the function approaches 1, right? That is the value 1. However, when x approaches negative infinity, the function is approaching minus 1, right? So that is what it is. It is approaching minus 1, right? So so now the, the thing which you learn from here is that this particular function has two horizontal asymptotes. One is y equals to 1, the other one is y equals to minus 1. Now here is a question for you to consider, right? So consider is uh, explain behavior of function f of x near infinity, positive infinity and negative infinity, right? So basically you need to say whether you are approaching from above the asymptote or below the asymptote, right? So what we want you to consider, you need to write whether you are approaching horizontal asymptote from above or below, right? That is what you need to analyze, which you can analyze by substituting a value there, right? So, of course, the denominator value has x squared plus something, right? So, this value will be a bit lesser than 1, right? So, that gives you a hint of how to answer this part, which is above or below, right? Anyway, we already answered the question, which is horizontal asymptotes for the given functions are 2. First one, is y equals to 1, another one is y equals to minus 1. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.